What's up guys, this is Lesky, and in this video I'll be showing you guys one of the best striker builds I've used in all of FIFA 23 Pro Clubs. It is very fast, especially if you're on the new gen version of FIFA. You'll have the lengthy accelerate run style in this build which will help for running in behind and making those long distance runs. And then it excels in all the other categories really other than passing. We didn't go for a ton of upgrades to passing but that's fine for a striker build. My teammate was using this build a lot and he enjoyed it and I used it a bit. And we both got some really good clips with this build. So before we get started, take a look at some of the highlights we got, and then we'll dive into the rest of the build. Can you track this? Oh, trucks! Whoa, that was... Meg! Oh my gosh, keep going! Yeah, got him. Bodied. Are you on? Oh my god! Yes, I go, am. go, go, go! Take that. It's gonna be that Afro guy. Oh, he's not even pushing on you. Wow, that was nasty. They were not ready for that. Go around the defender. Holy shit, wow. Oh, he got his hand on it too. Wow. Ball roll, set up the Trivella. GG. Still has got 95 shot power, whatever it is. Stupid. Oh Did it again. One more middle. Come on, buddy. What? Finishing That's that. Crazy. Love them angles. Stupid how fast this build is. <laughs> the length is yeah, ridiculous. I got you using that. So amazing. Oh, Damn, you showed me your length. You the just heavy. stood there with your length. <laughs> yeah, you were just like. You like what you see? <laughs> you just went fast, man. You just did like the NBA cross style. Oh, just look at him for a second and be like, bro, you look yeah. silly. I like to look at this striker build as if it's Mbappe with more physicals and it has the lengthy accelerate run style because in game it feels very similar on the ball and then it looks similar because it has the same height at six foot and then the weight I chose is 152. You'll still have a lean body type at 152. If you want more of a thicker body type, you can go all the way up to 174. The attributes won't change, but I like the lean body type, so that's why I went for 152. Preferred foot is right footed, but that's really up to you guys. Let's go on over to the perks. If you want to test this build out, I'd suggest trying these three perks first. These first two I think are very important. I went for skill dribbler and active first touch, and these two perks will make this build feel a lot better on the ball when dribbling, doing skill moves, all that kinds of stuff, upgrading the agility, balance, ball control, and dribbling. And then active first touch will also upgrade your pace. It'll boost your acceleration and sprint speed when running onto a through ball in behind or when you get the ball played to your feet, it'll kick in for a good amount of time. The third perk is one that you could switch out, but I like it on this build because it'll max out the strength. I believe we have 90 strength on the skill tree, so with this perk on, it'll max it out to 99. And then the jumping is 80, which isn't too bad for a striker, but the physical strength will upgrade the jumping even more while also upgrading the ball control, it says, when jostling, shielding, or heading the ball. But if you wanted to take this perk off because the physicals are already pretty good, tireless runner could be a good suggestion. If you don't want to worry about your stamina as much, it'll... Uh, give you a boost of stamina in the 75th minute. You could go for a passing perk, I guess, which wouldn't be ideal for a striker. Uh, distance shooter could be a good option. Poacher, we already have really good shooting attributes, so poacher wouldn't be um, that great, but it would max out all the shooting attributes in the box. Uh, first time shot, possibly. Other than that, I really wouldn't suggest anything. I'm just a big fan of all the all three of these perks on this build together. Let's go to the skill tree. As I've already mentioned several times, this build is lengthy. So in order to be lengthy, you have to have 14 or more strength than agility. So we need to max out the strength and get the bull archetype. And that'll get us to 90 strength and 75 aggression. Don't forget about this reactions upgrade. We also have another one right here, plus four for two skill points. This right side, we're just getting some stamina upgrades. We'll have 88 stamina, and then don't forget about this plus three jumping to bump the jumping up to 80. But with the physical strength perk, as I just said, uh, the jumping and the strength will be higher. For dribbling on this build, you'll see that we have 76 agility and that I didn't go for the Maestro archetype to upgrade the agility more. Because we have 90 strength, 
90 minus 76 is 14. So this build is exactly lengthy. We can't upgrade the agility anymore or it will turn controlled. So make sure you don't get the Maestro archetype or this extra agility upgrade. And then on the right, we're gonna get everything except for this ball control. Don't forget about this second section for the plus two balance. We're, we're gonna have the Lynx archetype. And then I decided to go for five star skills. If you just want four star skills, or even three star skills, I guess you could take both of them off. Just rock three star skills if you don't use any skill moves at all. Um, and then you could put those 10 skill points somewhere else. Or if you just want four star skills, you'll have five extra skill points you can put somewhere else. And I'd suggest maybe putting that on shooting, passing, or physical. And don't worry about the low agility and dribbling on this build because the skill dribbler perk and active first touch perk will help a lot and make this build feel way better than what it says on this page. I wanted to make sure I upgraded the curve on this build, so that's really all I'm doing on passing. You'll see that I went for this plus two crossing, and then all I did was go for both of these two curves and then down to the last curve, and we'll have 85 curve on this build, and that's not only gonna help for passes. It says, increases the bend and swerve of the ball when shooting or passing, so it'll help for your finesse shots or your outside the foot shots is what you'll notice it a lot, both of those types of shots it'll add more bend and curve and just make the shot better and more difficult for the keeper to save it the shooting on this build is very good i went for both of the archetypes on the left you're going to max out the shot power with the sniper archetype get the weak foot upgrade we'll have a five star weak foot on this build then on the right i'm going to take everything off you'll go for the first three heading icons and then on the third one you'll get the second section for plus four heading and plus four volleys we'll get the five star weak foot the finisher archetype and then lastly this plus three finishing to bump it up to 91 and we'll also have 91 heading 95 shot power 85 long shots and 91 volleys and if you want to take off the five star skills and just go four or three star skills you can use those skill points to upgrade the finishing more the long shots would be a good idea um, as you saw, you could upgrade the passing a bit more or even the physicals, like maybe the aggression would be a good idea on the physical page. The pace on this build is going to be completely maxed out at 89 acceleration and 94 sprint speed. And the active first touch perk will be kicking in and those attributes will be even higher. And if you're on the new gen version of the game, this build will excel because of the lengthy run style. You'll keep that top end sprint speed the entire time. You will not slow down. And that helps a lot for pro clubs because you're using that one player and you're going to be sprinting a lot. So lengthy is extremely helpful for any position in my opinion. So let me know what you think of this build in the comments. Hit that like button on this video for me. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button on my channel if you haven't already. As always, y'all have a great rest of y'all's day and peace out.